Do not be afraid. Fear is a Christian emotion and everybody from time to time is bothered of this feeling. I am afraid. I felt because I had no faith and I did not know how to fight. Fighting fears is not easy. You wake up in the morning and you worry about your finances. You worry about your kids. You worry about your high blood pressure, your diseases, your impending cancerous examinations, your incoming examination, your bar exams. You worry about meetings, your business, your cash flows, your receivables. You are afraid. You feel anxiety. Suddenly, in the middle of the night, you are awakened by your fears and you're afraid to face the tomorrow and face the sunshine you do not know how to respond because you lie you rely on yourself and your power you are faced with different forms of fear and you are paralyzed to actions to get away from the bandage of fears you lost your freedom you lost your sight Fear is intimidating. It will make you blind of the blessings that you have received for many years. You focus on your diseases. You focus on your pains, not in your blessings. You're afraid of the impending cancer diseases. You're afraid that you're going to lose your job. You're afraid of your city, city scan result. You're afraid of your X-ray result. You fear the shame and embarrassment. People will laugh at my back. People will belittle you. People will tell people that you are condemned by God. Fear then will define you. But take fear positively. People of faith, you don't always get what you want. But we know how to make the most out of what we have received because we are the people of faith. They don't dwell on what's missing but rejoice for their blessings. Be happy and grateful for the Lord is with you. Fear is God given? No. Fear not. Many times, many times, God mentioned 365 do not be afraid this is how God motivates us 365 times in the Bible fear not and mention fear not many many times that daily he is telling us do not be afraid I got you I got this whatever the result whatever the medical result the Lord said, I got this. Whatever the business meetings and meetings, the cash flow and the receivables, God said, I got this. I got this. Let me worry for you. Fear can be helpful. Use faith to help you search God. Give your trust and faith to Him. Take time to embrace the blessing God give you in each of these moments. Peace with your word and feeling overwhelmed. Gratitude when you feel like complaining. Wisdom when you are facing difficult choices. Patience when you have problems. Remember that the Lord is with you. <laughs> Let fear makes you motivated, not discourage you. Remember that you'll always have more blessings than problems. Problems say more when you count them and focus on them, magnify on them. But when you count your blessings, magnify your blessings, you realize that your blessings will outnumber your problems. Count your blessings then. Name them one by one and smile. The Lord loves you and is with you. Sometimes present situation will tell us that we must be alert and respond. Matthew 6.34 says, Therefore do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Do not be afraid. Cast your burden. And two, and God said, 
let me worry for you God said let me worry for you this is my job so do not be afraid cast your burden and trust the Lord do not be afraid and let God worry for tomorrow you are not God don't play God 1 Peter 5 6 to 7 states humble yourself therefore under God's mighty hand that he may lift you up in due time cast your anxieties on him because he cares for you fear as a caution fear makes a caution on you it cautions you God will not fail us he will support us that God said let me worry tomorrow for you let me do your job let me do my job and that is not job not your job to worry but that is God's job to worry about tomorrow just trust fears at one time I was so worried of my businesses when I was at the airport in Sorobaya, Indonesia, I have tears falling down while fearing the outcome of my businesses and my people. In the crowd of Islam people in the airport, I saw one guy among the Islam people with tattoo at the back of his hand. Isaiah 41.10, he says, so do not be do not fear fear not for i am with you do not be dismayed for i am your god i will strengthen you and help you i will uphold you with my righteous hand for i am the lord your god who takes the hold of your right hand and says to you do not fear i will help you Fear sometimes take over your feelings. You will lose focus and gives you danger while you are driving your kids at school or doing your job. What if the devil will whisper in your ears and suicidal tendencies will cross your mind? This way the fears will take over your heart instead of faith and instead of trust. Instead of trusting the Lord, you will be afraid you will have fear take over in you and you will be defined by fear you cannot decide because of fear bad fears anxieties and worries you are afraid that you are worried too much god says deuteronomy 31 8 the lord himself goes before you and will be with you he will never leave you nor forsake you do not be afraid do not be discouraged. Philippians chapter 4, 6 to 7. Do not be anxious. Don't be worried about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with God, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God will transcend all understanding and will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Matthew chapter 6 verse 34 therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself each day has a trouble of its own 99 percent it has been proven again and again 99 percent of things you're afraid of in the future they don't happen it will not happen and you're just caught of worrying too much of things that never happen you're afraid of disapproval it will not happen you're afraid that people will ridicule you it will not happen you're afraid of failure it will not happen many times i was afraid that people will just laugh at my back but no they even supported me you're afraid that you will be sick and have cancer have diseases people will ridicule you and condemn you because oh, this guy is a sinner and you are punished no many times and most of the times and even maybe all of the times they will pray for you they pray for you we are afraid of our opposition but have boldness to trust god accept god's plan for you 
even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. Romans chapter 8, 31. What then shall we say in response to these things? If, if God is for us, who can be against us? If God is with you, who can be against you? I always declare this one when I am afraid of danger. I will play Psalms 91. Lord, you are my defender and protector. You are my God. In you we trust. Deuteronomy 31, 6. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. These things were told many times to the various kings of the past, to David against Goliath. Do not be afraid. Be ready to hardship. Be ready to take the challenge against the evil. When you invoke the power of God, God will not give you fear, but power of life. The devil may not surrender, may instill new fears in you, but take it on and trust the Lord and hold His hand. Proverbs says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to that trust. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to God and He will make your path straight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and He will make your path straight. Submit to Him, surrender to Him. Christian life or followers of Christ like us, we have no guarantee of no pains and no sufferings, but it guarantees that the Lord that Christ is with us through our pains and sufferings. Psalms 55, 22, cast your cares on the Lord and He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. As Christians, we have to take the fight of faith. We have to accept that there are so many darkness around and it even reside in your mind and in your heart because you are afraid because of fear but God will take away your fears 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 16 now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way the Lord be all of you do not fear the threats according to one Peter. Do not be frightened, but in your hearts revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. With wisdom, fear not. Or act with wisdom. Fear is mentioned in the Bible 600 times, more than 600 times, but only 365 times God said, fear not. So then act with wisdom, act with the guidance of the Lord. Remember this, God is an all-time giver, but He does not, He does not give fear. You should be afraid also, and your response to fear shall be with confidence. You should be afraid only to God. Therefore, with courage and with wisdom, do not be afraid of criticisms, of dislikes, fear of disapprovals from many people. There is an antidote to fear. You can actually fight fear. I feel fear from time to time. I am no Robocop. I am not robot. I am human like you and I feel fear. When I had my angioplasty heart operation, I was afraid. I feel my tears through my cheeks crying going into the operation room because I never been hospitalized before. It was my first time I've been hospitalized. I was afraid of death. I said, Lord, I have three young kids and young family. I have still many loans and I have still 800 employees depending on me. I was afraid. Said, 
I said, Lord, please deliver me from my fears. God gave me faith. I prayed for faith and God strengthened me. God whispered me and said, I got this. I got this. If you have problems right now, you have fears right now, the Lord is whispering in your ears and He said, I got this. I got this. Do not worry. When you give access devil into your heart through the fears, let God now, today, this moment, at this instant, open the access of your heart and instill the faith and trust. Remember, faith and fear cannot stay in the same heart together, in the same place. If you have fear, then you cannot have faith. But if you have faith, it will drive away your fear. Psalms 23, 4 Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You turn to God. Do not worry. Do not be afraid. You are now in debt, in deep financial troubles. You are broken hearted. Your girlfriend left you. Your wife left you. You have crippling fights and disagreements with your wife and husband. Do not be afraid. The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. The war break out against me, even then I will be confident. I sought the Lord and He answered me. And He delivered me from all my fears. Psalm 34 verse 4. Isn't it amazing? This is not a write-up that you read in magazine or a TikTok or a Facebook page. This is a book from Holy Bible, Book of Psalms, proven to be the words of the Lord for many years. I sought the Lord and He answered me. First key word, sought the Lord. You seek Him, you look for Him, and He will answer you. And He will deliver you from all your fears, from all your fears of your diseases, of all your fears of financial troubles, of all your fears of exams results, of your CT scan results, of your medical results, of your ultrasound. He will deliver you. So seek the Lord and He will answer you. Seek, answer, and deliver. And all your fears are gone. This is it. What are we still looking at? Seek the Lord and He has the answer. So don't worry, trust and be happy. Do not be afraid. Seek the Lord. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that He may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. 1 Peter 5 7. Humility is a basic requirement. By bowing our heads and praising to God, we gave up everything and surrendered to Him. It's up to God. I am just a clay of the great Potter's hand. He will lift up in due time. He will lift up. He will deliver us in due time. God cares for us. Again, brothers and sisters, God cares for you. Whatever your illness right now, He cares for you. Look up and seek for Him and He'll give you the answer. Fear the Lord. Do not be afraid to anybody except fear the Lord. There is a fear that you must have, but that fear is the fear to Christ. There's a fear to fear the Lord. Fear Him. You can be afraid, but only to Him. In the arena of practical world, you must have free from fears except from God. He is a jealous God. He must be alone, be feared. If you're afraid right now, because you are bothered by pains, diseases, serious financial problems, serious illness, remember this. 
from Holy Bible. He said, it is said, I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body. And after that, can do no more. But I will show you whom you should fear. Fear him who after your body has been killed has authority to throw you into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten by God. Indeed, very hairs of your head are all numbered. Hairs of our head are all numbered. Do not be afraid, you are worth more than many sparrows. Sparrows are birds. We are more than birds. They're being sold at two pennies. They are, for us, it's nothing. But still, the God cares for you. How much more you? How much more us? Yet they are being taken care of. According to this verse, our hairs are numbered. My hairs are numbered. Billions of hairs. Are and it is numbered because God cares for you. So that the Lord cares for us. Jesus is with us. Remember, Peter, St. Peter was able to walk the sea. He used to be ship captain. I have sailed around the big oceans of the world, Pacific, Atlantic. We are full of storms. But St. Peter was able to walk the water while in storms because Jesus was with him. But he was afraid and suddenly he had doubt. So he was sinking. And Jesus said, Oh, your little faith. Faith is all what we need. We can walk through the water, through the tempest, through the, ten, through the storms of the ocean, if we have just faith. We must therefore fight fears with faith. The Lord is with me. Psalms 118, 6. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? The Lord is with me. He is with me on my side. He is walking me anywhere. What can mere mortals do to me? Whenever I pray, I will say, Lord, make cases to help me. The Lord heals millions of prayers every day. Millions or even billions of prayers every day. Not only you. Some prayers may be contradicting in his ears. One boxer prays for himself for money. Pacquiao maybe false prays for another boxer. One businessman prays to win one bidding while I'm also praying and shaking heavens with my prayers to win the other bidding. This is being heard by the Lord. Sometimes your delay or your loss to get a room at the hospital is an answered prayer for those who need help. Too many people too many prayers, too many fears. But God is the great orchestrator. He makes cases for everybody. At one time, He can take a traffic on you so bad that you can be delayed so that your focus on other matters or on gambling sessions will be focused on other matters. He makes cases for you, for you, to focus on right things rather than on bad things. In a summary, God controls everything. So if He controls everything, what else do you need? Just pray, trust, and have faith. And just say, Lord, You are my God. I am just a clay of a great potter hands. I surrender myself. Please make cases to help me. Romans 8.31 if God is with us, who can be against us? Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and by petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Do not be worried about anything. Just pray and petition and give thanksgiving and present your request to God. And that's it. God will answer your request. You should be thankful. I love this verse. I always end a lot of talks because I love this verse and I believe in this verse. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. 
I can be a superman to Christ. I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me. We can do all things. We can erase fears. Trust not on your human understanding, but God's power. Have faith. Trust and have faith. Take away your fears. Fight fears by having faith. Brothers and sisters, Brother Rubian Paka of BCBP Talisa Isibo, with fears, with fears, faith, and fight. Good day and God bless.